So I've been down the south coast now for a few days and I've been, you know, going along some stations to and from and I realised there's a sort of area along the sort of Weymouth to Portsmouth that seems to have several different train operators doing slightly different routes. And I was thinking to myself, how can I get an excuse to sort of use all of them together? And I thought, you know what? Why don't we bring back the whole sort of X to Y on as many trains as possible kind of thing that I've done before. So I'm here at Weymouth right now and we are going to travel to Portsmouth and South Sea using, that's a very loud van, using as many different train operators as possible while still being a permitted route. So we'll begin by getting that train behind me to take off South Western Railway. Right, here we are on this first train. It doesn't actually leave for another like 15 minutes. Now if I take this exact one all the way to Bournemouth, I'll be left with like a 50 minute wait at Bournemouth for the next train? No, so I'm going to take the opportunity to tick off another station along the way. I swear to god I've done this leg between like Weymouth and Bournemouth so many times these last few days. I'm getting honestly sick of seeing this place. I mean, I'm not, it's nice, but you know what I mean. That's an interesting level crossing. That's pretty unique. Well, here we are anyway, at uh, Wareham. The, the plan would still work even if I didn't come here, but I have an opportunity to visit another station while I'm at it, so I'm going to do it. So we are going to get the next um, train out of here, the 10.53, and we're going to take that one finally to Bournemouth. I'm only doing this just to have less of a wait. So according to the uh, opening times here, this waiting room should be open right now, but it's not, it's, it's padlocked shut. That's a shame. Wait, it said four carriages. Is it going to be a 450? Didn't even know they went past Bournemouth. I keep wondering to myself, where am I? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh yeah. Well, I never. Well, this certainly is a surprise. A 450? After Bournemouth? I did not know they actually ran. So we have Poole as the next stop, and then immediately after it's Bournemouth. It's weird, like, the, the slow trains don't call at Brexton and Parkstone, and then the fast trains do call at them. It's very confusing. Almost time for Bournemouth for our second train fire. So here we are now at Bournemouth, where hopefully we should be changing to that cross-country train back there when it turns round and comes back to the platform. <laughs> so it's that one there, the 11.45 to Manchester Pick. We're going to take it one stop, hopefully, to Southampton Central. While I'm at it, I'm just wandering to the uh, platform one that I had no idea actually existed. Just this small little thing, just off to the side, hidden away. <laughs> Can just barely accommodate a 4-car 450, I think. Now, thankfully, because this is the first stop on the Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly route, I should not really have much issue getting a seat on the, uh, on the train to Southampton. I think I might be sat right on top of an engine. I can feel myself quickly bobbing up and down. <laughs> <laughs> underneath me. Oh dear. But anyway, here we are, cross country, TOC number two. We'll take this one stop to Southampton Central, and then we can change to TOC number three. It'll definitely be nice for a change to go from Bournemouth to Southampton fast without calling anywhere for a change. Yeah. 
So we're coming into Southampton Central, and we're actually coming in a few minutes early. I'm going to change to Southern on here, and I was going to get a Brighton service, but they I seem to be arriving early enough that I'll be able to catch the London Victoria, or in this case Barnum, because of Engineering Works service. And yeah, maybe we can go a little bit one leg of Southern, then change to as another station, take off another one, and then do another Southern leg. Two Southern trains as well as two Southwestern Railway trains. Oh, this is great. So if I'm very quick, I can get the Southern train that's behind that cross-country one. All right, well, we made it. TOC number three. Southern. Let's take this a couple stops. And of course, making my way to the uh, 2 plus 2 bit of the uh, 377. Obviously. That's weird. I was looking at Google Maps just briefly to make sure I was getting the right service, and it said it's going to Barnum, but here it's going to Horsham. Weird. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on board this Southern. No, I wasn't actually expecting to be able to get this train, so my plan was to just take Southern to Cosham and then change it to Cosham. Um, but now I have another choice. I can get off at either, because both trains call at Swanwick and Fareham as well, so I can get off at one of those two. I guess we'll let uh, Google decide whether we go to Swanwick or Fareham. So, pick a number between one and two. 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 So it looks like we're going to go to Fareham. There goes Swanwick. So the next stop is Fareham. We'll just briefly get out there and wait for the next Southern service. Ever since I filled out Stu's spreadsheet with, you know, stations you visited and all, I've started actually caring about trying to visit stations and get my count up. Honestly, it, it changed something in my mind, honestly. Fareham is going to be my 380th ever visited station in the country. I literally only just realised by the time we were pulling in, it's like, I was at Wareham earlier and now I'm at Fareham. I've accidentally done a point to point <laughs> during this trip. Oh my God. There is actually a um, service to Portsmouth Harbour running from this platform in about eight minutes, but it's a Southwestern service, so it's useless to us. Anyway, the train we are changing to is the 1254 uh, Southern service to Brighton. Just, you know, I didn't need to come here, but I did just to take off another station and accidentally do a point to point without even meaning to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. Right, let's go to uh, Cosham. Single stop. I know I do quite often sit in airline seats, but sometimes it's nice to have a table. I can just put my camera down here and just talk from a distance. It's quite cool. So you can probably guess by now, when we get to Cosham, uh, we'll be waiting for whatever the next GWR service is to Portsmouth and Southsea. And my camera keeps wobbling. I Worry it's going to fall over. <laughs> so we just went through Portchester, which is, I think, the only station between Fareham and Cosham. So it won't be long till we get to Cosham, but we will have to wait at Cosham for like half an hour. We'll see like a, a South Western Railway service go by to Portsmouth, but we can't even get it. We want, we want Great Western Railway. Cosham! Great. So if I want to wait for the Great Western service, I'm going to have to wait something like half an hour, but I'm trying to think now, I'm thinking of sort of a last minute plan. Could I possibly get on the Southwestern service as well? If they have any common stations, I'm going to check. Ah, they both call it Fratton. About six minutes apart from each other. You know what? Yeah. 
Let's, let's, let's do it. Another, another quick, another added station, change of plan. Let's go to Fratton on the South Western Railway, then we can change to Great Western Railway. And we'll still get all four train operators in the plan. So the South Western Railway service that we'll get um, is in about six minutes. And then once you get to Fratton, it's about a six minute wait at Fratton for Great Western Railway. Some teenagers down there on the train have got a whole speaker and they're blasting out music. One singular train to go. A couple minutes until uh, Great Western Railway to Portsmouth. Finally. Brill, final train operator, Great Western Railway. Goodness, I actually did forget how um, short the distance is between Fratton and Portsmouth. Basically here already. Well, there we go. We've made it to uh, Portsmouth and South Sea. We used four different train operators between Weymouth and Portsmouth. We used Southwestern a couple of times, um, Southern a couple of times, and then we also used Cross Country and Great Western Railway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and a subscribe, if you fancy. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. We'll reiterate, you were all a big part in helping me do this Dorset trip, so once again, thank you very much for allowing me to do it. It's been very fun.